Chick from EZD Mark Technical Support Team and today I'm going to show you on how to configure SPF and DKIM for Amazon SaaS. So the first thing that you guys want to go is verified identities. As you guys can see I'm already there and you guys want to click on create identity. Then you guys want to choose the option domain here and enter your domain. Then we want to choose this option which is saying use a custom mail from domain. So the platform will provide us the option to create a subdomain for our domain because as you guys know that Amazon says is a subdomain capable source. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we want to create the identity. So right here it will the platform will provide us with the records. So we have three CNAME records, which these are the DKIM records, we have an Amex record, and finally the TXT record, which is the SPF. So let's go ahead and add these into our DNS zone. So I'm using Cloudflare. So we wanna choose the CNAME option here for the name. This is it, and we also need the value. Here's the value. Now, uh, in Cloudflare, there, there is the option for the proxy status, which you guys want to turn off that. Let's go ahead and add the second one. It's a C name. This is the value, proxy of. Okay, now we can save it. Now we have the Amex record. Now you guys can see that there is this number 10. This is actually the priority for the Amex record. So let's choose Amex here. Remove this part and we want to type that here and save it. Finally, the SPF record, which is a TXT. This is the name, and the value, and save it. So, we can just refresh the page here. A couple times. This is actually normal due to DNS propagation. Now everything is successful and verified. So congratulations, you have successfully configured SPF and DKIM for Amazon SAS.